Hello, in this video, you will learn about cross search optimization algorithm. So, let's see step by step how this algorithm is working. Cross search optimization is similar to particle swarm optimization algorithm as we did in previous videos about crow. Highly intelligent bird and known for their intelligence. They live in large families and they can remember faces. Crow never forget the face and they can burn its species in danger. And they can hide food and remember its location. And their age is 40 to 17 year. And they can be found all over the world in a variety of habitats. And we have up to 40 different species of crow and different sizes. Crow search optimization algorithm is a population based algorithm. And this algorithm is based on the intelligent behavior of the crows. Crow search optimization algorithm is a population based algorithm. And this algorithm is based on the intelligent behavior of crows as they can hide food in the hiding places and they can memorize the hiding place positions. They can follow each other in order to steal their food. They can protect their hiding places from the attackers. In this algorithm, we have two main parameters that is the flight length and the awareness probability that we will see in the upcoming slides. So we have two main concepts for this algorithm. First is Crow store excess food in hiding places and retrieve it when needed. So crow can store the excess food in the hiding places and they can retrieve this food when needed. As I told you before, crow can memorize the hidden places and even they can retrieve the food after several days or month. Second main concept is they can cheat each other by following other crows in order to steal their hidden food. So this algorithm is working on this intelligent behavior of the crows. First, they can store the excess food in the hiding places and after that they can retrieve it. It means they can memorize the hidden places and they can retrieve it. Second, they can steal each other food. Let's start this algorithm. First step is initialization phase. Here we will initialize the crow population randomly. Suppose we have total population for crow is 20. That is the population size and the maximum number of iteration we have here 200 and we can display the position for any crow by using this. Here i is the number of crow and t is the current iteration and the value for i is 1 to 20 as we have total number of crows 20 and value for t is 1 to 200 as the maximum number of iteration is 200. So using this we can display the position for any crow in second step we will compute the fitness value for each crow as in the population we have 20 crow now we will compute the fitness value for each crow in third step we will initialize the memory for each crow as i told you they can memorize the hiding places so now we will initialize the memory for each crow so each crow has memory in which positions of hidden places is memorized in initialized stage, crow have no memory. Assume that they have no memory in the initialized stage. And we can display the memory using this. Here i is the number of crows and t is the current iteration. Now in this step, we will assume that they have hidden their food at their initial position. Done. Now in step 4, now we will move the crows in the surrounding for better food, resources or the hiding places. Here, for food theft, crow can chase each other. Now suppose we have two crow, crow I and crow J as you can see here. Now crow J want to visit its food hiding place. Now this crow decided that he want to visit his food hiding place done crow i decided to follow crow j now this crow want to steal his food so he decided to follow crow j done as for food theft they chase each other now crow i is chasing crow j now we have two cases in this case first case is crow j that is this one he don't know crow i this one is following him now in the first case crow j don't know that somebody else is chasing him he don't know that somebody else is chasing him 
as we all know crow can hide food in different hiding places as you can see the different hiding places in underground in tree holes so now you can see here so in first case crow j is going to visit his food hiding place and crow i is chasing him and he don't know that somebody else is chasing him and you can see here crow j reached his place you, you can see here in the underground so this is the place where this crow hide his food now you can see here crow i discovered crow j's food hiding place so this is the first scenario now as you can see here crow i discovered his food hiding place so now we can update the position for this crow by using this mathematical equation as you can see in the real life they can fly and they can change their position but here we will use a mathematical equation that is the mathematical model in order to update crow position so using this equation we can change crow i position here you can see the i that is the number of crow and t is the current iteration here you can see we we are going to change the position so now we will update the position for the crow i so in the initial position we will add random value and the flight length for crow i its memory and its position using this equation we can update the position for crow i now we have second scenario second case is now this time crow j know that crow i following him in this case he know that he is chasing him now as i told you before they follow each other to steal their food and they can also protect their hiding places from the attacker now we will see how crow can protect their hiding places from the attacker so now in this case crow j no crow i is chasing him so crow j will try to fool crow i by going to another position so as you can see here crow j know that he is chasing so he will try to fool him by going to another place now he will select any random place and instead of his real place he will go to any random place now you can see here this is the original place where crow j hide his food now instead of original place he will go to any random place in order to fool him done so this is second case where he know that somebody else is chasing him now you can see here we have two cases first is crow j don't know that somebody else is chasing him in second case he know that somebody else is chasing him so r is the random value that is uniformly distributed and ap is the awareness probability of crow j here if this value that is ap is the awareness probability if this value is greater than random number it means crow j is aware that somebody else is chasing him if this value is less than random value it means he don't know that the crow i is following him as you can see here if this value is greater it means he is aware if this value is less it means he is not aware that somebody else is chasing him so we will check this value here we will compare the awareness probability with any random value if this value is greater then it means that crow is aware that somebody else is chasing him if this value is less than the random value it means he is not aware that someone is chasing him as you can see here we will update the position for this crow using this equation if he don't know and if he know then we will change his position randomly so if this condition is true then we will update the position using this equation if this value is greater than we will update the position randomly so in matlab you can see here we will check the condition here this is the current iteration and this is the maximum iteration and we will repeat the loop until this condition is satisfied and here you can see we will check this condition if condition is true then we will update using this else using this that is randomly in step 5 we will compute the fitness value for the new solution and after that we will update the position and the memory of the crow 
and we will display the value and we can apply this algorithm in different optimization problems in chemical engineering in image processing in power engineering and so on so in the first step we will initialize the crore population randomly after that we will compute the fitness value and after that we will initialize the memory for each crow after that crow will move in the surrounding for the better food resources and the hiding places after that we will check these two cases according to that we will update the crow position and after that again we will apply the fitness function and compute the fitness value for each crow update their position memory and display the best value so this is the simple algorithm in the next video we will see how this algorithm is breaking with the matlab code so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and all the important resources are given below in the description box and thanks for watching